Good morning, good people. So the purpose of this very short video is to try to bust the myth, and it is a myth, that the DVLA uh, V5 classification uh, will influence how fast you can drive your panel band conversion. So when I'm talking about panel band conversion, I'm talking less than 3.05 tons, not a big loop or anything like that, the standard panel band conversion. Now, regular subscribers to this channel will say, well, this channel's all about hacks and mods and tweaks. What's that got to do with the price of onions? Uh, well, of course, some people are in the process of building their van and that might be an influencer. So that's why I wanted to address uh, it and to bust this myth. And it is absolutely a myth. Now, already there's people out there jumping up and down saying, you don't know what you're talking about. You've got to read the regs. You don't know the regs. You shouldn't be on the road. I'm a keyboard borrower because my life is so sad and I'm going to call you out. Do that if you want to. Uh, that's fine. But what I'm going to say is there's loads of experts out there on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. or think they're experts, they're not. I include myself in that. What I'm going to do is to point to you guys to the legislation not the bloke down the pub, the legislation that you can read to make up your own mind and see if you agree with me that the DVLA uh, V5 body type classification is irrelevant when it comes to speed. Okay, so first of all, let's look at speed limits. Uh, here is the gov.uk uh, website where it outlines the, the uh, national speed limits. If you scroll down, um, here they are. Okay. Uh, and it says motor in the green there, highlights in green, it says motor homes or motor caravans not more than 3.05 tonnes, maximum unladen weight. On a dual carriageway, you can do 70 miles an hour. So they, actually the speed limits are all the same as a car. But guys out saying, uh, they are saying, yeah, but it's got to be classified as a motor caravan. Otherwise you get caught, caught by uh, the rules that are highlighted in yellow which is, it's, an, it's a good spherical, not more than 7.5 tonnes. And on that one, you can only do 60 miles an hour on a uh, dual carriageway, and then you can only do 50 miles an hour on a single carriageway. So you get that speed restriction. What I'm suggesting is, whilst that is absolutely correct, it is not um, the DVLA V5 classification that defines what is and what is not a, a motor caravan for the purposes of speed. They've got their reasons why they want to put these classifications, but they are those reasons are irrelevant when it comes to speed. And I think there is a, a very big clue about that actually on their own website. So let's have a look at that now. Here is the uh, DVLA um, page about converting a vehicle into a motor caravan or a motor home. Okay. Now, if you, if you, the, the important paragraphs here are, are the second, third, and fourth paragraph, and I'm going to read those in the reverse order. I think it would be more helpful if the DVLA swap the order. So, just this one part of, of the fourth paragraph says Request for a body type change to motor caravan require that your vehicle has external features that can be recognized as those of a motor caravan. External features, and this is what is catching everyone out because there's some lovely rigs out there. And if you took a photograph of those rigs and, and, and showed them to my dead goldfish, it would say, oh, it's, it's, it's a caravan, it's a motor caravan, clearly it's a camper van. Whereas the DB layer say, no, it's not, it's a van with windows. So there's an external um, thing that has to be met very tight. Now there's all sorts of reasons speculated why that is. Some people say so the police can recognize it, that sort of thing. Not, let's not go into that now, but that's the external requirement. Now let's jump up to the third paragraph. It is important to remember that if the vehicle's body type is not changed to motor caravan, the vehicle can still be used for this purpose as long as the keeper is satisfied that the converted vehicle meets the required internal features for a motor caravan. In other words, that's nice of them. You do all this effort. If it looks like this, you can use it for what you wanted to use it for. So they're saying, even if it's not a body type change to motor caravan, effectively you can use it as a motor caravan, providing you've got the insides suitable for motor caravan. Okay, but the big clue is in the second paragraph. The body type does not affect the insurance category of a vehicle or have any effect on speed limits or other legislative requirements. 
is only used for establishing vehicle appearance and identification. They are saying on the DVLA website about converting to motor caravans, the body type does not have any effect on speed. So why do we all out there think it does? Bizarre. Now, some people say it's because they don't know what they're talking about. The left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. Well, that may be the case, but my proposition is, it is because in defining speed, which is a legal thing, it's the law, the DVLA is about classification, not about speed limits uh, in respect to the law. For that, you need to look at the Road Traffic Regulation Act 1984. So let's have a look at that. And again, the link is down below so you can read this for yourself. Do not take my word for it. So that's that's it there. It's the law, legislation.gov.uk. The law, not what the bloke down the pub thinks or Greg's the goldfish or the DVLA, it's the law. Okay, so now if we scroll down, section two, uh, the bit to prefixed uh, in this schedule, we're getting closer. We're getting, we're getting close to finding out what a motor caravan really is. So it says here, highlighting you though, motor caravan has the same meaning as in Regulation 2.1 of the Motor Vehicles Type Approval Great Britain Regulations 1979. Now you'll see there's a little uh, suffix uh, M4 there. That's a link. If you click on that, and there's a few things to click through. You find actually that the regulations have been updated and they're now 1984. I've read both. With respect to motor caravans, they are identical, so it doesn't matter. But here they are. Here's the page. Again, the link's down below. And if you scroll on down there, we get to the bit we're looking for. A motor caravan means a motor vehicle which is constructed or adapted for the carriage of passengers and their effects and which contains as permanently installed equipment the facilities which are reasonably necessary for enabling the vehicle to provide mobile living accommodation for its users. And that is where the legislative trail stops. So far as I'm concerned, that is the definition what a motor caravan is with respect to the regulations for speed not what the bloke on facebook might say the bloke down the pub or greg's big goldfish and not what the dvla v5 body type classification says and in fact they say that themselves on their own website don't they it would be useful if they put a little in brackets uh, reference out to um the, the road traffic regulations so we could have gone down that road road but they didn't so from, from my from my perspective uh yeah the dvla v5 is irrelevant but don't take my word for it uh i'm not going to be one of those armchair experts just follow the trials read the regulations make up your own mind with respect to insurance you're fine there might be some other things like council car parks people say wow well, if i've got a van with windows it's clearly not a cab van i can park in there I suspect they all have their own definitions of what they deem to be a motor caravan in the same way as the it is different from speed. I don't think the DVLA V5 body type has any use in that at all. I'd be interested to know about um, people who buy ferry tickets. They're cheaper for caravans, motor caravans, than they are for commercial vehicles. Have you had to show a V5 classification to prove? Uh, you are a motor caravan or do they just say look at it and say yeah it's a motor caravan I don't know about that but certainly for speed it's a myth you don't need a v5 classification uh, to a motor caravan to get those extra few miles per hour, per hour so that's my proposition now if anyone can find any legislation that's been superseded what I've found please drop them in the comments I've been keen to in there I'm, I'm not interested in what the pub bloke down the pub says or your mate who's a traffic copper I, I want to see the actual law because that's what uh, I, I focus on in on but hope it's been of use um, but be careful with your speed